Okay guys, here is our first conversion problem. We are converting 566 millimeters to decimeters. So, here are our rules. Remember, these are the bigger units of measurement. And as you work your way this way, these are the, this is the smallest unit of measurement. The rule that we wanna get in our head is, when we are moving from a small unit of measurement to the big one, we will divide. When we move from a big unit of measurement to a smaller unit of measurement, we are multiplying by powers of 10. And the easy way to do that is to just shift the decimal. So let's take a look at this number, 566. So I'm gonna write 566. And we know that that's where the decimal is. We're moving from millimeters to decimeters. Millimeters to decimeters, let's find it. Millimeters, and there's decimeters. Let's see how many times. One, two. So that is one, two powers of 10. And we are going from small to bigger units of measurement. So small to big means we divide by two powers of 10, which would be 100. So that means we need to move the decimal one, two times this way. One, two. Our answer is 5.6 decimeters. 5.6 decimeters. So this is a really cool thing to draw out and have handy. You'll find it in your workbook as well, but it's a great way to visually see how many times we're moving, how many times we're moving the decimal.